Hi, I'm Yanni. Today I'm going to show you how to add your signature to a PDF and how to request someone to sign a PDF. All for free with Adobe. You can do it all from your laptop or mobile. There's no need to print documents and scan them back in. So let's dive straight in. Let's start with signing a PDF on your laptop or desktop computer. Here, you'll see the option to make a free account, which I'll show you later. But for now, if you scroll down, you can see all the free tools Adobe Acrobat offers. You can convert PDFs into different formats, edit PDFs, and compress them. Today, we're going to go to Fill and Sign. Once you're on the Adobe Fill and Sign page, you'll see this button that says Select a File. I'm going to go ahead and click on it to upload this construction bid proposal PDF that I need to sign. You can also drag and drop the file onto the screen here too. We need to wait a few seconds whilst the file is uploaded. And there we are. This is where you need to create your free Adobe account if you don't have one already. So we'll follow the steps and get an account set up. Now we've signed up, we have access to all of Adobe Acrobat's PDF tools. If we want to, we can edit the PDF, but let's stick to fill and sign. If you've used Adobe Sign before and have a signature saved, you can select it from the menu on the left. But if this is your first time using it, you can create a new signature by clicking here. You've got the option of using your full name or just your initials. I'm going to go with my full name to create a new signature. When you're done, click Save. Now that my signature is ready, I can drag and drop it onto my construction bid proposal PDF. Done! Easy peasy. I've got to fill out the date here as well, so I just click where I want to write and a text box appears. Let me type in the date here. I can make the text a bit bigger as well. Oops, that might be too big. <laughs> here we go. Let me double check all these numbers are correct before I finish. Yes, that all looks right to me. Now I'm ready, I can download the PDF ready to send back. If I need other people to check the document, I can get the link to share it with them or type in their email addresses to send it to them. That's it. I've now signed my proposal PDF using Adobe Fill and Sign. Next, let's look at how to sign if you're on your mobile. The easiest way to sign a PDF on your mobile is the Adobe Fill and Sign app. Make sure you're signed in using your free account. There's loads of ways to upload your PDF. Click on the icon in the middle of the screen to bring up all these options. I'm going to upload via file browser. I'm going to click the pen icon, which is here at the bottom of my screen. I've got the choice to create a signature or create initials, same as on desktop. Let's do initials this time. Perfect. Now it appears automatically on my document and I can move it around with my thumb to the correct position. If I wanted to use my signature more than once, I can go back down to the pen icon and my initials have now saved, so I can add them to the doc as many times as I need to. Adding in the date is the same as on desktop too. I tap where I want to write and the text box appears. Now that I'm finished, I can share it with people by tapping the share icon in the bottom right corner. And if I click done, it appears on the app home screen for quick access in case I need to make any changes. Now we've been through how to sign a PDF, I'm going to show you how to request a signature from someone else with Adobe Acrobat. We've got a similar screen to before where you can upload your PDF. I'm going to drag and drop mine here. We'll give it a sec to upload. And now we have this screen. There's this box here at the top to type in the email addresses of the people we want to send the PDF to. You can add as many as you want and you can specify if you want some people CC'd in. Just like writing an email, you've got your subject and message boxes to fill out to explain what the PDF is. Now I've filled that in, I'm going to click specify where to sign. Here's the PDF. And if I scroll to where the signature should go, Acrobat will recognize it as an area to sign. So if I click here, a box will appear for the signature. 
If I click next to it for the date, I'll get another signature box, but I can change the field type to date. On the left, there's loads of field options, such as recipient name and email, and even checkboxes. All I need to do is select the field type and click on the PDF where I want the field to go. I only need signature and date, so let me delete these extra fields with Backspace. Now I can send it over. So I click send and get a confirmation screen. If I want to check the status of the PDF at any time, I can go to manage agreements and they'll all be listed here. The status says out for signature and this will update once it's been signed. If I click on the document, I can also remind the person that it's been sent to them and download a copy for myself. If you've only got your phone on you, it's no problem. You can do all of this through the Acrobat Sign app. I click Send for Signature, and here's the list of four steps. First, I'll choose the document. I've got a choice of uploading a document from a few places. There's Dropbox, Google Drive, and my phone photo library. I already have the document saved in my photos, so I'm going to select that one. Just like on desktop, I've uploaded the document. And now it's time to enter the recipient's email address. Let me type them in. And as you can see, that step is now filled out too. Now onto the third step, where I can write a message giving a bit of context to their email. Finally, I've got the option of changing the language and adding a password to the PDF if your document is of a confidential nature. Now I'm ready to hit send. Great! My PDF has been sent off and I can check its progress from the app home screen. I've got one notification under waiting for others as I'm waiting for my document to be signed. Once it's signed, it will move to completed. That's it for this tutorial, folks. If you found this video helpful, give it a like. Liking is also really helpful if you want to refer to this video again and need to find it quickly. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you want more helpful tips and tricks with Adobe. Thanks for watching.